Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited. One, because the lighting isn't that bad in here. At least it doesn't look bad on the camera screen. And two, I am in a new garage. It's a little bit smaller and it's a lot harder than the other garage is. As you know, we've been moving for the past three months, it feels like. But I finally have like a little storage space and somewhere that I can make fishing lures and I can still make these fishing lure videos for you guys. So I'm just happy that I have somewhere where I can still do this at. It is hot in here, but we got to get some fans and some lights. I feel like I haven't actually sat and talked to y'all in like a month and it's it's time to sit and talk and make some fishing lures. So in today's video, we're gonna be making fishing lures. It's something we do on the channel. I don't think we've done it in the past, maybe two months on the channel, but it's something that is a lot of fun and something I enjoy to do on the side. So I just hope that the lighting stays okay for the whole video. I can, let me show you all around the new garage. Let me show you the new, the new fisherman's workspace we have here. It's a big garage, you can tell. It's like a, it's like a 18, it's like a 12 by 12. I don't know, you can fit a car in here. What's the car size? So that, that's 12, we'll say that's 12 foot. And then that's like 24, maybe? I don't, I don't know about garage sizes, but we're gonna say it's 12 by 24. All right, so we have the 12 by 24 garage. We have a table here. This is our fish and lure making table. We moved our microwave to the bottom instead of the top, just to have more room up here. I like being able to sit my camera up here on the tabletop and the microwave takes up a lot of space. So, I mean, if you wanna do like multiple things, you're not super, super crowded. So we have more room on the desk where we do our working at. We have our colors and microwave molds on the bottom. All right, walk with me, walk with me. We have our back corner. In the back corner, we have some more fish and lure colors and stuff. I just kind of unpacked it not too long ago. So the colors and glitter and all that just went up here. We have some fishing rods here in the corner. We have a five gallon bucket right here with some kitty rods in it and some rod sleeves and also a cast net just because you never know when you'll need a cast net. We have a crappie box here, some max scent. Let's see what it is. Some creature hogs. These actually got left in the bed of my truck and the bed filled up with water, the bag busted. And I'm hoping they'll like dry out and return to regular size because they're little. They're a little swollen. They might actually be really juiced right now, but we're gonna wait to see how juiced they are. We're gonna see if they'll maybe like contract back down since it's hot in here. Box of spinner baits and butts baits here. This is my first ever tackle box. I'm gonna give this to my son one day, so that's why I keep it around. We have the PFD right there for the kayak, some waders, and a five gallon bucket filled with plastisol. This is new, I haven't shown you all this yet. This is kind of like one of those behind the scenes things I just learned about that you need or it's essential, but like it never really gets much love on the channel. Sit that over there. So that's like wheels for my kayak so I can drag my kayak wherever it needs to go. So I love the kayak, but one thing about it is anything over like 50 yards of carrying this kayak is a workout. So being able to have something with wheels on it where you can just hold the front handle, the wheels sit back here and you just hold the front handle and just drag it wherever you need it to go. So that is a lifesaver for the kayak because that kayak is, I don't know how heavy it is, but it's heavy. We have the John Boat trolling motor. The John Boat is actually at Greg's house right now just because when I was moving, I didn't have anywhere to keep it. I mean, I could probably fit it in here. It's a 12 foot John Boat. For right now, we're gonna let Greg hold on to that for us. We have a tennis racket just in case we wanna go compete in Wimbledon one day. Rods, and we also have a rod holder, which I don't have any rods on. But I think what I might do, I might try to tidy this up a little bit because I just got all my fishing lure stuff out for the video today. But I think I might try to move some of this stuff around and make it look a little bit more appealing in here. But yeah, that's the... That's the main tour. All right, so we got everything pretty much cleaned up for the most part. I put, instead of having all the colors and stuff at the bottom when it's, when you open the microwave door, it's kind of hard to like open it without knocking stuff over. So I decided to put all these in the back right here on this little shelf, but I want to get like a shelf to keep them right here and like stack them up kind of high. Kind of like how Chris had set up in his little fishing man cave, not his fishing sauna like I have. I have a one of a kind fishing sauna that all my stuff is in. But, so I think the last video I did was with that bass tackle, the new bass tackle molds I got. They also sent me some flake and some color. So I know I haven't used any of this stuff here on the channel. I kind of want to use it today, break it out. I've used all this stuff before. I know this might be your first fishing lure video you've ever seen me do, but I kind of want to switch it up a little bit today because I've never done like a true red or yellow lure or pumpkin seed. I mean, I feel like all these are really cool colors. So we're gonna switch it up a little bit today. Big mouth bass are being a little slow. So maybe we can make something that they haven't seen before and they want to try. This is a lizard mold, a craw. This is a bug. This is like a little bit bigger than I was hoping for, but it's still, I think like for bed fishing, a white bug, you can make a really big white bug in that. And I think it could do really good. 
And I want to say this is a crawl. I have zero plan for colors. This is watermelon. We probably won't do that today. I want to do something kind of funky. Green pumpkin. Maybe we can do something. We could work out a green pumpkin. And yellow. I really want to use this yellow. I've never done anything yellow before. Pumpkin seed, that's kind of common. I think we might sit these off to the side. We might use yellow, red, and green pumpkin. Y'all know the steps. First, you take your plastic, put it in your cup. Do about a cup of it and then we put it in the microwave for three minutes but we take it out after about two just to make sure it's heating right and we stir it before i put it in the microwave i always just stir it um just because i'm sure you're probably supposed to stir it why i stir it i couldn't tell you but i just do just kind of have it i have put it in the microwave for three minutes and when it gets nice and warm we take it out we put it in our injector then we inject it into our mold but i'll show you all that stuff all right guys i think it should be hot enough now um now what we do is we add our color. I'm not sure how we... Okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> when you move, you just tend to lose stuff. And luckily I found these tops. Hopefully they fit on top of this bottle. If they don't fit on the top of this bottle, we're gonna have to figure out something. I might end up just dumping it in there. Ooh, I think that fits. Um, so that's not working. We need scissors or a knife or something. See, my dad always told me, always keep a knife or scissors on you at all times. Hey, it's paying off. Shout out to you, Father. Thank you. Let's see. Hopefully that'll do it. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's cool. That's like a banana color. I've never made anything like that. I don't even know if I've ever fished a banana lure. I don't even know if this needs any flake in it. I think all lures need flake in it. We might just, we should probably put some flake in this one. This one just looks so juiced up. Holographic. Let's see what that turns out is. All right, I'm gonna cheat here. I'm gonna add a little bit of the snow shine. It should brighten it up a little bit. Give it like a little bit of a highlight look to it. I think that'll help with that like holographic silver look. It'll give it a little bit more flair. All right, now let's inject it and see what it looks like. Kind of looks like it turned into chartreuse a little bit with the snow shine in it. Like at first it was dead yellow, but now underneath the light it looks like it's changed a little bit. Hey, I think that looks pretty juice. I'd fish it. What do y'all think? That looks pretty good to me. I need to take them outside, like in better lighting, to see what they really look like. But in here you can't really see it. I can let's see maybe if I shot my phone flashlight on it. Yellow done, and we're gonna switch it to, let's do red next, and then we'll do green pumpkin last. We should, I think I know what green pumpkin looks like, but every company's color looks a little bit different. All right, guys, we got our second plastic pot. Now we add our red to it. This bottle is a lot firmer than the other one was. This kind of looks like crimson. I know colors kind of look different once you start to mix them sometimes. I think earlier I said I don't have red, but I actually do have some red, but it's a lot lighter than this. This is more like a crimson color. It's cool. And I think with this one, we're gonna add some red flake. We're gonna do red on red in this one. Let's see how that turns out. We have red with some red flake, and then we're also gonna do like, not a lot, but a little bit of gold. If I could just keep it in the cup instead of getting it all over my hand, that would probably help makes that. I think we have like the perfect amount of gold in there. That looks pretty good, but I think we're gonna have to wait to like get these outside so we can really see what they look like. But those look pretty good. I think the red kind of, the red gives it like a second layer of red if that makes sense. They almost look like real worms. All right, guys, we got the plastic out for the last time, and we're gonna do our green pumpkin. And this kind of worked out perfectly, so we used all our colors, and we're gonna use all of our glitters because we're gonna do black and blue flake for this one. 
I think that might be too much for how small it is, but we'll figure it out. We'll find out. Check out the last ones, they're pretty nice. All right guys, I'm gonna let these cool down a little bit then come back and give you all like a final, a final update on them. All right, come here, all right. Oh, hey, come here, ah, around, down, down, watch your head. Nope, all right, all right, all right, you'll, that'll work. All right, just calm it down. This dog has a hand fetish, I'm telling you. In the beginning of the last video, you might have heard there was like a wolf, ah! Down, stop, Thor, stop, stop. All right, show everybody how good you can be. I got them all riled up. I'm sorry, it's normally not like this. Door, get down. All right, so we got him calm. He's actually a really good dog. It's just he gets a little wild. When you get, it's like a child, you know, when you get a baby wound up, it goes crazy. Hey, come here. Enough. All right, so we have a puppy. This is a puppy, I promise. He's only a year old. Like, literally, he's only a year old. And he is the reason why I can't film inside of the house because he's super loud. When he's in his crate, he just thinks that, I don't know, he feels like he's in prison or something. And he just cries. I just wanted to introduce y'all to Thor. He's our emotional support animal and guardian of the whole state of Alabama in his mind. He's super, he's super loving. He just really has a thing for fingers. Like when you get him worked up, he's a big dog. He can be a little intimidating, but he's a big, he's a big baby. But I want to show you all these soft plastics real quick before we wrap today's video up. It is raining and thunderstorming. The story of Alabama for the past three weeks. It. Good boy. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know what you think about these color combinations. I think they all turned out pretty good. I don't know which one's my favorite because they're all so different. They're all like on a different level of different, if that makes sense. But I think they all turned out really good. I think you catch some fish on all three of them. So let me know. Please tell me if y'all have ever seen a dog do this. Go take your bowl back. Whenever he gets hungry, he picks up his bowl and brings it. I've never, I've never seen that from a dog. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. I hope you have a great day. Let me know what you thought about these colors and what do you think about these fishing lure videos. Thank you so much for all the support. I'll see y'all on the next video. Fish them hard. Hey, fish them hard. Have a good day.